Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the game of life problem. Ah,、uh, we are given a board with m by n cells. Each cell has the initial state life one or dead zero. Each cell interacts with its eight neighbors horizontal, vertical, diagonal using the following four rule rulers. Ending life cell with few uh fewer than two life neighbors dies as it occurs by underpopulation. Ending life cell with two or three life neighbors lives on to the next generation. Ending life cell with more than three life neighbors dies as if by overpopulation. Ending dead cell with exactly three life neighbors becomes a life cell as if By reproduction. So, uh, let's see this example. Uh, you should notice that、uh, all the state change happens simultaneously. So that means we cannot just iterate the board once and、uh, update the state immediately. If we update the previous cell's、uh, state, we will not use the original state of Uh, the state when we try to, uh, try to handle with the following state. So one simple solution is just use another same size matrix to record the updated state of the cells, but that is a waste of space. We should find out a solution. That、uh, use no extra space. So actually, we can just、uh, change the value. Now we only have one and zero, but we can use other integer to mark the the previous state of the cell and the updated state of the cell. So that means actually we just have two. Uh, state change to mark one is from die to life, another is from life to die. Actually, we can just use another integer that only that means like we can use the integer negative one means this is a originally a dead cell, but afterwards it will be life. So when we see it's negative one, we know it actually represents a die a dead cell. The same idea. We can use a two to mark the. This is originally a life cell, but afterwards it will become a dead cell. So the all the other things will be simple. Firstly, we we iterate the board, and we try to mark the dead cell to the life. Use negative one and mark the uh life cell to a dead dead cell. Use the integer two. Afterwards, we just update this cell. We change all the negative one to the one because it means it becomes life, and change two to uh zero because it means it died. So actually, we just、uh, iterate the whole board twice and use no extra space. So let's write the code. First thing is each case check if the board equal to null. Or board dot length equal to zero. We just return. Otherwise, we get the rows equal to board dot length, and the columns equal to board zero dot length. Then we just、uh, try to mark the cells, rows, and、uh, i plus plus, and for in the j equal to zero, j less than columns j plus plus. So if the current、uh, cell equal to zero, we will see whether it can change to life. So we will count its the、uh, life neighbors. Then we use a count function, bold i j. You see, only when the with exact three life neighbors, it will become a life cell. So if the lives equal to three, we will mark the. Bold i j to the negative one. If、uh, else, we just、uh, count the 
lives bold. Ah, uh, okay. Else, if the bold i j equal to one, if equal to one, we bold i j. If lives, if lives less than two, few than two, or the lives. Greater than three, we mark the current bold. Uh, actually, we can just write here. Uh, of course, it is the same. Bold equal to the two, it will become dead, right? So we mark it to two. So in the end, we use update bold. So let's write the count function. We pass the bold. And we pass the row and the call index. We will write a global variable that will be final static. This is a 2D array, means the directions. 0, negative 1 means that we keep the row index unchanged and we uh, let the call index. Minus one. That means it is the uh, left. Go left. Then we go right. That will be. Uh, go down. That will be. Go up. And also we have four diagonal cell. One one. One negative one. Negative one one and the negative one negative one. You can simulate uh, this eight direction. It just changed the row index, the call index. And we need a result means the live cells. We will try to change the eight direct uh eight directions. New row, right? This will be row plus dr zero, and uh, this is new column. That will be column plus diy. So we we should uh, first make sure the row index is valid. Is greater than zero and the new row less than bold dot length and the, the new column greater or equal than zero and the new column less than bold zero dot length. Also, the if the bold the new row new column equal to one, it means it's live. Also, if the bold the new row new column equal to um equal to two that means it previous also a live cell so we make a result plus plus and we return this result okay then we need to write the update we pass this bold for int i equal to zero i less than bold dot length i plus plus and for int j equal to zero, j less than bold dot um, bold zero dot length j plus plus. So, uh, if bold i j equal to negative one, that means we should change it to life. So that means bold i j will equal to one. Um, if bold i j equal to two. That means the bold i j will be changed to zero. That means it will become dead. Okay, I think I finish. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.